in the ladder, even though you're not doing like a bracket, like best two out of three, like you can only have, you can only lose twice, et cetera. You still have to do, go through a bunch of games and like beat a lot of good players. Yeah, <laughs> you have to worry about a lot of players, but uh, this is a matchup that I kind of pen on paper to me, this is even just because like as long as Belmont plays a spacing game, he is effectively winning and we know Game & Watch has an issue with dealing with distance characters, but the problem is that Game & Watch is pretty fast and can close the gap between him and the Belmont. So as soon as he gets like a Richter off the stage, it's back air city, yeah. you know, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, disadvantage would be very bad and uh, edge guarding would be very bad. But as far as the neutral goes, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, no, you be, directional oh, air dodge. Oh, Why did you directional oh. air dodge? No. Well, I mean, the moment he got sent off stage, he died. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he was a dead man. But still, that's the one thing you want to avoid too is directional air dodge because Domo has somewhat of a decently graceful tether, so you can still use that. But I respect it. Like, you know, Monty's going to go out there with a backer no matter what. Yeah, and that things are just kind of snowballing here now. Um, it's just a mm, no, yeah, another direction. See, that's the thing about directional air dodge. Some players like to use it for a drift towards the ledge to be able to grab it, but realistically, it's just too much commitment. It all depends on the character here, but that's going to be a downer to the neutral right here. Let's see if anything Squid Plumber can do to come back. No forward smash, but I like the attempt that you know what, you're always going to have cross out because that will come back and help you out, out of some sticky situations. It's like the same concept of weeks you using the boomerang. To like yeah. cover kind of unsafe options on stage with the returning hitbox. Good Ooh. use of axe. Mm, nice forward tilt there. Spot, so close to forward tilt with forward smash. I was going to say, Squid Plumber's going to wash himself down there. No aerial here. Gets the holy water, but it's out of the range. You get caught in it too. This is not going well, yeah. man. Everything that can go bad for Squid Plumber is happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, worst case scenario yeah this is literally the last situation you want to be in here but uh, 170 to 107 squid if you can get anything would be now and yeah there's gonna be the forward tilt uh, 170 something's gotta give strides come on we're not, we're not trying to see everybody get a wash this comeback is pretty difficult uh, he can kill game and watch early but it depends on a, a really good setup at this point yeah wow, he saved him I think it's going to need some really strong setups, real, realistically speaking, and that's going to be different for him. I would, I can't, oh my god. The, yeah, the reflector from, oh, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's wow. it. Why, he got, why, that was blasting. Monty, why does Monty have to do this to him, dude? Just in the game, man. Oh, no, what a directional he, air dodge to the blast zone. Directional <laughs> air dodge and then jump in the blast zone. Yeah, yeah, I hate to see it, man. It's like you said, Strides, everything that'll go wrong definitely went wrong. Your directional air dodging terribly, your game of watches all over you. It hurts, man, it hurts. Uh, Sweet Lou, I think it's because, like what me and Strides says, if you're trying to move up to the higher part of the ladder, which is basically the top 16, top 8 sector, um, essentially you can only afford two losses, right? And then you'll be fine. But the best part about ladders is you can consistently just keep playing the ladder to get better results and do better. And if anybody does worse than you, you'll be above them. And then you could probably get in the top 16. But it's also a really good proving ground for a lot of players. Like, I'm not saying Squid Plumber is bad or good or anything. I think it's the first time I've ever seen him. But it has allowed a player like Squid Plumber to get this part of the bracket because he was able to overcome many other players above him and then as well be able to face a player like monty even if he does lose it's still good practice to see and get the vod out for himself to be like all right cool let me go look go back and look at my vods right it's a lot it's definitely a lot but there's also money as well yeah and it's free and you can win money thanks to smash gg and look at this comeback already from squid plumber he I'm just got like a crazy zero to death <laughs> he just got complete zero to death with Richter of all characters. Did you, I'm, I'm now wondering if like, you know, he uh, let his little brother hold the controller for game one. He's like, yo, I know well, I'm far in bracket, but. Dude, the thing about game one is he actually was playing amazing and then he got hit off stage once and then he's had to, he had to come back as his owner. Like, had to start approaching character like Game & Watch. That's never something you want to do. But now that, you know, he has the lead, he doesn't really have to super hard commit on any type of approach. Like, he has the range advantage. Yeah. 
I having the rage like attack, but yeah, yeah having the rage advantage against Game and Watch is so good because he has to be around your specific range to be able to grab you, hit you with jab, hit you with back air. So as long as you're always zoning him out, you'll be fine. That's a good spot. That's definitely something up to grab because he knows once he gets grabbed, it's gonna be a back throw to the back air. What happens if two people tie for the first? I think it depends on your wins too. Like if one of you happen to just run into a stronger player and you won, I think that'll definitely be the tiebreaker for you. But I haven't run into that situation because I'm not playing with ladders usually. But uh, we'll, we'll see, man. Definitely enter. Week four is the last week, so if you haven't gotten a chance, get in now. But Monty will get the up smash here at 131. Uh, so you know what's good for Mr. has a chance for this game three to happen no matter what, as long as he keeps the cards right. But man, Ooh, this reflector. Reflector. Man, Monty, like, is religiously going for the nine. <laughs> He wants that early kill. There was that thing about the the Twitter account Mishima posted like the the worst game of watches in terms of like a deficit, the higher percentage of game of watch gets for nine. So it's oh, kind of worth I it didn't too. I know that. Yeah, that, it's a, it's a small comeback mechanic the game of watch has. So if game of watch is effectively losing more, he has a higher percent chance for a nine. But still, like you don't want to be spamming, <laughs> you know the hammer every single time you kind of want to use it as a last ditch effort or if you know you got to confirm into it okay this backer is crucial so you up these early it actually is fine yeah it's fine to just take the damage instead of dying yeah good double oh my god these here. downers are working so well Oh, bad roll though. Ah, uh, yeah, rough roll there. The thing about downer is it's pretty active all the way through. Very similar to ZSS downer, but well, you'll know the same thing ZSS downer. Hers is much faster, balance is much slower, and you will effectively get stomped out if you're not ready. If your opponent's definitely waiting for that one. Okay, he's trying to cover a lot of space on the stage. He has really uh, good disjoints with these aerials as well as tilts. I, I just want to see him continue to commit to that. Uh, any type of like unsafe aggressive play against Game Watch as Richter right here could just be death. <laughs> so, yeah, I would just keep my distance, keep spacing him out. And I think that's what he's doing too. He's trying to use a little bit of movement and try to slowly space him out. You gotta watch yourselves in the rolls, look. And Monty can definitely read that. Goes for the up here at 132. Nice that is gonna too. be a great punish on the reflector there because you know Monty finally had the full buck and split plumber, man. Coming back. Yeah, very, very good adjustment from the first game. Honestly, yeah, like, he did really well first game. It's just getting knocked off stage as Richter against a character like Game Watch is really, really hard to deal with. And uh, he kept committing an early air dodge, but as far as playing neutral and keeping his good spacing away from Game Watch, he's doing that really well. I, I don't know how much better his recoveries are going to be because he didn't really get put in that situation in game two. Yeah. So... We'll see if there's an adaptation, adaptation there. Yeah, that is true, Chris underscore SSB. It's the one with the most wins. So you have like a certain time period to get all your Ws. If you don't get your Ws in that time period and you're just like, I don't know, slacking off or something, or maybe like you're busy that day and you decide not to get enough wins, then yeah, effectively the person with the most wins will definitely be above you. So it's kind of like a small grind, but in that regard, like it helps you get better. Win or lose, like it's kind of meant for you as more of a proving ground. But the best part about it is Smashy G has attached, you know, a winning prize pot for a lot of you guys wondering to make it worth your while. So it's a little bit of both, you know, uh, there is some pressure to it, but uh, also effectively you are also, if you can also learn from it, especially because we're putting your VODs out there. So for Squid Palmer, he could definitely come back and look at how game one went for him and the consequences of going for a directional air dodge every time. Yeah, he, well, he's really just not getting his sin off stage. <laughs> I think he just was like, okay, let me, Let's see what happens if I don't have to use my air dodge off stage. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's really well aware now. So now there's a full bucket here on Monty. So as long as Squid Palmer is effectively always like trying to just always space and watch out for the aggressive off the state off the ledge options from Monty, then he'll be fine because you know Monty can use that bucket again. That's gonna be another. I thought I had the full bucket, but I guess the pixels were just a little bit off. Ooh, what a punish! He's getting tagged by that up smash, unfortunately. Um, either from rolls or just dropping shield or spot dodging at some core times. He's got, he's really got to watch that. I wish I knew why every game and watch use the teal color, but I have to admit it's a nice color. Uh -huh. Ooh, grab, grab clank. It's the last thing you want. Maybe could have killed forward throw at this mm, Okay, that's good, that's yeah. good. Yeah, he had enough. Oh. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Not even a roll there, he just waited. And that's good too, because when you're at the ledge, as long as you have your body off from the ledge, 
slowly take your time to come back towards center stage. If you're too aggressive, your opponent will punish you for a great down tilt to punish the starting frames of down smash. And what a great up B. Wow. Yeah, that's high percent, though. Yeah. The thing about up B is that I think Squid really likes on this stage, especially, is that he gets to that top platform even yeah. if it doesn't hit. Oh. Wow, oh, that's so smart. That was getting smart. the jab block while also blocking the returning cross and getting the up smash punish too. You can see that Squid sometimes tries to go for neutral air, and neutral air at certain percents will confirm into another back air or forward, depending where your opponent's facing. So it's good for Belmont to just try to get Nair at, at times, but I think he has to be a little bit careful because the way that Mont is playing, slowly catching up to it. But man, speaking of slowly catching up, man, Squid Farmer is slowly catching up himself here. He's. Yeah. Pretty much change this deficit into any man's game. I think he's also trying to bait out the bucket too. Yeah. Oh, mm. not, not enough to kill, but you're off stage now. Yeah, and good directional air dodge. Yeah, okay, good. Nice yeah. yeah, that was a great directional air. See, it's better when you do it towards the blast zone, away from the blast zone. There was a last time where we saw Squid Palmer do it towards the blast zone. You have to do it away. And the earlier, the better. That way you have less end lag. But that's only if you go more towards like the corner plane. All right, this is great. This is really good for Squid. He, again, has the stock lead as a zoning character and has the range advantage. Um, he can just get a lot of free percent here just from Monty getting a little bit uh, frustrated from having to approach here. I, if I'm him, I would try to be as much as possible, but there's the back air. Only getting close to 40%, not too bad, honestly. I, again, I would keep up this uh, spacing on the stage, but nice. Reflector into the neutral has a lot of percent. Okay. Trying to cover the landing here. Monty is playing very patiently though. Uh, Squid would be well advised not to get put in a situation where Game Watch is directly under him. You don't want to get sharked by these <laughs> crazy aerials. Yeah. <sighs> good, good angle on the. Oh, oh, I don't like that. See, see, that's the third time we've seen that strides. It's just too costly for the situation. Yeah, and he's just putting himself off, uh, off stage too. Don't want to be in that spot. Okay, he's going to. Not even going to go for the holy water, surprisingly, but throwing him off stage once again, trying to get the setup at the ledge. Monty retreating here with the high up E. Up, yep. Yeah, up that's the good. shield. Very good stuff there from Squid. He has a lot of momentum here too. But he's got to play safe. It, all it takes is one mistake, get thrown off stage, and it, that could be it for him. That's the one thing I'm liking about Squid. He'll throw the projectiles, but he'll wait for Game & Watch to go oh. for a commitment. Oh, God. Oh, wow. He used SDI out of the holy uh, water. I thought that was checkmate for Squid. Okay. Nice forward air going through Game Watch's forward air. I just, oh, oh yeah, that's there's a safe up B to the top platform. Caught the holy water. Okay, jumps around the fire back oh. down there, but he doesn't die for it. Oh, he's at the ledge though. No, he's got a jump. Yeah, he's, he's got the upbeat still. Yeah, but he's at such a bad spot. Oh, oh yo, no, not like, wow. wow. Like that? Oh, he just did this man dirty. <laughs> he did this man dirty. If I were Monty, I would have never seen that coming because if I saw that down air, I would have been like, oh, he just SD'd. <laughs> yeah. 